Good morning, happy Sunday. We just came in, it's 11 a.m. and it is so hot outside. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today. It's only the end of May, so it is a little weird for Virginia being this hot. Not completely out of the norm, but it feels like it's August outside, it's gross. But today I got up at like 6 a.m. so I could practice my yoga outside, I could do my journaling in peace without anybody else being up except for Mosley. Just walking around, it looks like my lilac is done blooming, which makes me sad. I I'm so happy it was crazy bloomed this year and hope and I'll just keep getting it fertilizer each year and hope that I get more and more blooms maybe that just made me so happy I think it bloomed its peak right around Mother's Day which was like perfect my super tunias are starting to do really really well they're starting to put out little flowers I noticed the ones on the deck are actually doing a little bit better than the ones in the landscape probably because I babysit the ones on the deck a little bit more and give them more rain or give them more rain. I give them more water. It's been really dry in Virginia here. Then what else? My firelight hydrangea is getting so much foliage. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't see any buds just yet, but I think they're going to be coming out any second. The limelight hydrangea, I actually didn't check on, but he's over in the side. And we're going to try to do that like limelight hedge eventually. That starts to look really good. I need to hit all of that with deer off later today, though it is supposed to rain tomorrow. So maybe I will hold off. I might actually not do that today, I might hold off. But I did do a little bit of weeding. My weeds were not out of control, knock on wood. But I did as much as I could because my allergies are insane. I looked at the weather channel and it said, pollen is, what was it, tree pollen and grass pollen are very high right now. And I have been taking Zyrtec for like the last couple of years and for some reason it's not helping me at all this year. So I have this weird theory between Allegra, Claritin and Zyrtec I use one for a few years and I think my body gets like used to it or like immune to it and it no longer works and then I have to switch it up. So I ordered some Claritin from Target. I have a Target order coming this week. It's not supposed to be here till Wednesday. So out of like frustration, I ordered some on Amazon and it's coming today. So I'm gonna start taking Claritin tomorrow. I'm really hoping that works. Like I can't even be outside for more than like 10 minutes and I'm just like super congested and just, oh, it's miserable. So we're hiding out inside today. I've got a couple hours before bedtime. Like I said, it's only 11. We did breakfast kind of later, it was around 9.30. We tried those blueberry, it's like, I think it was called like a sweet biscuit or something. They were just Graham's biscuits with blueberries and then icing. They were okay. I thought they were gonna be so much better. They really appealed to me in the grocery store and then I ate them and they were like, eh, we tried them. I don't think I'll get those again. But anyway, what was I doing this morning? I have two boxes that came in the last two weeks. I just have not opened them because it's been chaos. I have his KiwiCo box and his Lovery box. So I figured I'd open those and show you what he got in those. And then we're gonna do nap time. I'm gonna pay bills. I'm probably just gonna sit, like I said, hang out inside because my allergies are just not doing well outside. And then for dinner, I think we're going to do some kind of pork, either pork tenderloin or pork chops. And even though it's gonna be 90 degrees, I'm gonna do it in the oven. I have that bacon tray, so I'm gonna roast Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and potatoes. And I think that might be all we have. Maybe a side salad or something, something easy. And for meal planning this week, I'm gonna do those drumsticks that I cooked the other day. I still have four of those. We're either just gonna throw them on the grill of the oven and mac and cheese with that and that should be done. I have a ham steak and then I have a bunch of quinoa from that salad leftover. I think I'm gonna do some kind of skillet thing with like zucchini and sausage and the quinoa like cherry tomatoes maybe, it's delicious. You wanna say hi? Come here. Yo. And then on Thursday, my in-laws, Matt's parents are gonna be here through the weekend. So my new thing, because I don't need any more anxiety, it already is, it's so bittersweet. Like I love having family over, but since I had him, it raises my anxiety level. Like I get very stressed out about like, is everyone okay? Does somebody need something? Like I don't enjoy myself. So the things that I've started doing were, I no longer cook, we get takeout. I enjoy myself more when we do that. I use paper plates, plastic spoons. I am like very against environmental stuff like that, but I need it for my anxiety. So the meal plan ends on Wednesday. So I don't have to worry about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they might leave Sunday or Monday. We just don't know yet, depending on plans they have going on. So enough talking, let me get my boxes open and show you what's in. Let's do the KiwiCo first. Okay, so I'll start with this one first. This is, like I said, KiwiCo, and I upgraded the subscription to get a free book every time. So this one says, I spy on the farm. We're going to be reading this at 
what is it called? Nap time. <laughs> so that's his book, this subscription. And this crate is called Discover With Me. They all kind of have a name. I got the 12 month subscription, so it's six crates. So this one comes every other month. And it says right here, Discover Me, Discover With Me for ages 13 to 18 months. So all of the KiwiCo, if you're not familiar with them, they come with this really great parent guide. It's not everything, it's not only everything that's in the box, but it kind of gives you development where they are, some like questions. It's it's really cool. I like these. They always have like sing-alongs. It's really sweet. And there's a, a doctor question at the end. So I usually read these later when I'm alone because he distracts me. And then with every one you get these cards. This talks about all the stuff with the toys. I didn't actually start using these till he got a little older. Then I realized these are super duper helpful. It oddly teaches you how to play with the toys, which I know sounds insane, but um, like it really just shows you like, you know, other ways to think, other ways to play with the toy that you may not think about that help them at their certain development stage. So very helpful. I keep these in a little zipper pouch that I got when I got my first crate. So I don't throw any of this away. This is just like the top sheet that kind of shows you what's in the box. So this one is called a roll pop-up roller. So it's got these wooden pieces that come out. So I'm guessing literally as you roll it on the floor, gravity moves these color little tabs out. So there's one. I'm not gonna give that to him until I'm done because I'm sure he's gonna make a ton of noise. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh my God, how cute is that? I don't even know what that is and it looks so sweet. So this, oh, I've seen these before. These are little feet that come out. So this goes, it's got like a, a scene here and then just colors on the other side. Let's see what this one is. I thought that's what that was. This is a peekaboo base. And I'm assuming that's what these little tiles are for. And they even have little numbers on them. How cute is that? So they're colors and numbers. And it looks like as you put one in, they kind of poke up. Oh, that's cute. Paul's playing with Mo. So that's cute. What are you doing, buddy? And let's see, this is a hide and seek mat. Has a little thing on his nose. Oh my God, how cute is this? So it looks like it has like little, oh, Matt, Paul is gonna love this. Little flaps. You can put little sweet things in here. This folds down. And it says there's little animals. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Getting ahead of myself. So there's little wooden animals that you can play with in here. And you know what? We're going to grandparents at the end of the summer and it's toys like these that are just so easy to, you know, bring with. Where can I hide these? I'll put both these in here. Oh, maybe the dog, let's put the dog in here and we'll put the little rabbit over there. And then you can fold this up, take it to friends. Closes on the little nose. It has a little handle here. That's so cute. What else do we have? Animal matchups. That must be what this is. So it looks like these are just little tiles and it's a dog and a puppy. So it's basically like babies and adult animals. A cat, little bird, bunnies. And I'm gonna take a wild guess that this is to hold them, which he will probably like actually just taking this in and out of the bag. So that's fun. And then with every KiwiCo box, you always get a little book and the little panda is Poppy and he loves these books. So now we have another new book. It looks like counting and hiding. He's gonna love that. And then if you've seen my videos, you know I do some of these, not all of them, but I try. This talks about things you can do with baby at their development right now, not involving the box. So this talks about like lighting up lights, making little ramps for cars with wheels, which he's really into right now, how to play with a ball, and then I guess activities you can do in a bath. So, okay, let me give some of these to Paul, clear the decks, and I'll get the lovery box. Okay, so here is the lovery play kit. This one's called the Pioneer, and this is for months 16, 17, and 18. And just a little tip, I'm opening both of these today. I actually only gave Paul one of the toys. I only give him one at a time, otherwise it's kind of just overstimulating, that makes sense. So I just gave him that little rolly one. I'll show it to you. 
He's having a ball with it right now. I gave him, where is that? This guy. He's playing with this one right now. All the other stuff is on the counter still. So I'll introduce these like one at a time throughout the day. But I'll happily show all of them to you. So like I said, the Pioneer Play Kit. Age, months 16, 17, and 18. Oh, I know he's gonna like one of these already. We get every single box. You get this parent guide. The Love Every Shtick is their parent guides. Oh, what's this? Oh, they have clothes now. Look at that, they have clothes. Cool. Um, they have this parent guide, which is really cool. It shows you, what are the things this? It kind of describes their age group in this section, where parents and children are at development, developmentally wise. Um, this stuff is kind of cool. I used to really look at this when he was little and now I kind of just breeze through it. What your child might be doing in this age group. Uh, what else are they doing? Things you can work on with your child. Then the playthings area. This gets into what all the toys are. Also talks about how to play with them. And then the last section is just like the KiwiCo has the cards outside the box kind of thing. These are activities you can do with your child that don't necessarily involve anything in the box. Like this one is fruit sensory play. So it looks like strawberries and watermelon in a bowl of water or juice maybe and the baby is taking them in or out or like this one I've seen people do this outside on decks to water painting you give them a container of water a paintbrush and that's it and the water you know makes marks on paper or outside and there's very little mess kind of thing this is introduction to play-doh oh it even gives you a recipe to make play-doh I might have to try that maybe we'll try that soon not when the grandparents are here that's too much going on Okay, let me get this. And then a really quick guide. I usually just keep this for a couple days and then get rid of it. It just talks about all the toys. It's kind of redundant, but it's nice to have this little thing. Also, more books. This is, the Love Every is Montessori themed, so no cartoons. These are real shot pictures and big words. And it looks like this one has to do with Max and his grandma. So that's cute. How appropriate is that? Paul's grandparents are coming this week. So another book. I get this big behemoth one out. I'm just completely get rid of this box. It's in my way. Can you see this guy? Kind of, sort of, you can. Okay, where are my little cars? Paul has something very similar right now that he got from friends for Christmas and he loves it. So that's okay, you can have more of the same toy. These are little cars, they can go both ways. And it looks like, oh cool, they rest here. So they rest on this little bar and then you let them go and they slide all the way through to the bottom. He is watching me. I'm gonna give this to him now. So let him play with this car. Let me see, what is this actually called? Race and Chase Ramp. Sustainably harvest wood with water-based non-toxic finish. What is that sitting on? Oh, it was. It's, it's flat. It was sitting on the little pouch thing. So let me give this to Paul. Community garden puzzle. Let's see what this is. That's adorable. I mean, like, I don't feel like I have to describe to you what this is. It's a puzzle made out of wood and it's got little carrots and stuff on it. The little knob helps them pick it up and they can put it back. So that's super sweet. Let's see what's in here. So I have this little number seven. What are you? Drawstring bag, which they do at this age, like taking things in, out of bags. He has another bag from um, Lovery that he likes putting things in and out of. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, little bags put all these pieces in. So you have this wooden base here, and this is like a needle. So what is this called? Threadable bead kit. So what he's gonna work on, this might be a little advanced for him now, so we'll have to work on it, is basically just taking these pieces, putting it on the needle, and threading it through. And there's all sorts of different pieces. You can do different combinations like this. Hold on, let me tell you what this does. That's like a classic Montessori toy I see all the time online. Okay, so for this, the why do this section, it kind of explains what the point of this toy is. Your child is learning to use both hands to play, that each hand has its own role. One hand can act as the holder while the other hand acts as the manipulator. Figuring, out, figuring this out takes time. That's what that one does. That's really sweet. Like I said, this is one that we'll definitely have to work on. So like the car with the tracks, he's mastered that because we've already had it. But this is something that we'll definitely 
stimulate him. Also, things like this are great to travel with. Because <laughs> they're just small. He's playing with his cars in the truck. That's super cute. What else we got? What else we got? Let's see what this one is. So this is the wooden stacking pegboard. And this comes with all of these. I think he'll really like this one. So these are just little wooden blocks. They have a peg. It sticks in the little hole. And you can just stack stuff up here. And it looks like you can also just keep going crazy and stack stuff really hot, tall. So that's cute. And now I'm intrigued what this thing is. Looks like a coffee mug, doesn't it? This is the Fuzzy Bug Shrub. All right, I'm totally intrigued by this. Opening the lid requires your child to use both hands. Oh, is it this way? Okay, I see I had it upside down. Now you can see it looks like a little shrub. So this part opens and he can reach his little hand in here. And there are, is that it? Oh, he's gonna like this. They're like, these remind me of like Girl Scout badges. What do we have? We have a butterfly. We have a little, oh my gosh, a butterfly, a little caterpillar, a dragonfly, ants, which mommy does not like, a ladybug. What else do we have? Oh, and a bumblebee. How cute is that? And so he will learn to take these in and out, which he likes his other containers and he likes to put things in and out. So I think he's really gonna like this one too. So like I said, I'm not gonna give him all of these at the same time, but these are fun new toys for him to play with and fun new activities for mommy to learn. I think we're gonna make the Play-Doh at some point in the near future, so keep an eye out for that video. Let me get this cleaned up and I'll just go play with Paul. Thank goodness for Sunday Prime shipping.
had more of your smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope Fill my head